at the August Memorial Park in Nairobi, a group of women converge. The need for self-empowerment has driven them here under the stewardship of Lillian Adiambo, who trains different groups on how to make shaggy modern-day mats. I used to work before, but I never really found satisfaction in the job that I was doing. Uh, being that I'm a mother, I found it very hard uh, coping with the kids and also going to work. But, uh, because of this house girl issue, I used to have issues with the uh, house girl. Sometimes you go to work, sometimes you miss. So I just decided to quit uh, my job and uh, to be a stay-at-home mom. And I needed something also to add on this. And my, I, also, I also had desire to empower others, not only for myself, but also to empower others as I make some income. These women have never met before. The strangers are here for one reason, to invest in their future. Gathered and eager to learn new ways of earning a living, the diverse age difference is evident. The role of enfranchisement is for everyone. Anytime we are doing this training, there are materials that we always have to have. The craft of making modern-day shaggy mats has become very popular with Kenyan women who decided to become self-employed or have not been successful in securing a job. It, however, requires a lot of skill. We have the tapestry, this one as many people call it, even though it has different names. Like uh, if you Google, I tried Googling, you find that uh, sometimes it's called balap. Some people call it base, but the, the name, the normal name that many people know is the tapestry. And then you need the yarns. You need the yarns. They have different colors. They are different uh, variety and different from different makers, different producers. Like this one is robin. There's another one. You might find that it's a butterfly. There's one called seal. But uh, they differ. The quality differ. So it will depend with you. And the prices also differ. Teaching this craft is not very expensive. Lillian's charges vary depending on location. Like uh, when I go to the slums, of course, the people in the slums cannot afford the higher figure. And uh, my main purpose of doing that is just to empower them. So sometimes I don't even mind, even if uh, they don't pay me, even if I just get fair, I, I don't mind. So even if I get people, few people who pay and others don't pay, I don't mind about that. There is the hook and the latch. Sometimes Lillian conducts her classes at the homes of her clients. She also travels to neighboring Uganda. My husband is in Nyabia, so I can't be in Kujeuku, in Tifuze, in Minyaze. Na ni mwana ni kitupoa, na iko smart sana. It is not only Lillian who has a passion to empower fellow women. Lucy Njoroge plans to pass on her skills to women in her community. Wa meka ivo bila kasi, kutegemea wa mwana, lege mtu waka kutu. Modern day shaggy mats have also attracted students who want to venture into the entrepreneurship and at the same time be able to pay their school fees. This is a part that is confusing. You have to push it in front. This interesting craft is not easy as it looks, but once you get the hang of it, you are on your way to making some good money. One shaggy carpet can retail between 7,000 shillings to 15,000 shillings. This is almost 100% profit. Having in mind the required capital is about 5,000 shillings. The tools for this craft are very simple and readily available. I think I have a new hobby. Najma Ismail, KTN News.